The modern world and the entirety of the Earth's surface captures a snapshot of the delicate and dynamic interplay between biology, geology, and chemistry. This biogeochemical balance supports an oxygen-rich atmosphere with abundant microscopic and macroscopic life. And although the charismatic megafauna of the world may be our first search term for life on the planet, it's in fact microscopic bacteria that are truly the catalysts of this special planetary dance. In fact, our planet's microbiology is the reason why we have oxygen in the atmosphere, and hence why large, complex animals such as ourselves are able to live, breathe, and walk the planet's surface. Fortunately, many of the microbiological processes that have shaped our planet's surface over the last four and a half billion years have left us a trail of breadcrumbs. The primary research goal of the Johnston Lab is to use these breadcrumbs to hunt down and diagnose the timing and reasons underpinning Earth's slow evolution toward the world we live in today. As geobiologists, we look at ancient seafloor environments, now preserved in mountain ranges all over the world for these breadcrumbs, or more specifically, diagnostic elemental distributions or specific isotopic fingerprints that tell the story of our biogeochemical history. When we thread these chemical and isotopic signatures together, organized by their relative age, the Earth's great narrative emerges. Under the hood of the Johnston Lab is the detailed study of the elements oxygen, sulfur, iron, and carbon, the sum of which reflect all the major players in the evolution of Earth's surface. When we interpret all these elements and isotopes together, they inform our understanding of atmospheric oxygen over time, the ultimate goal. This pursuit often leaves us building special instruments to facilitate the collection of this elemental and especially isotopic information. In parallel to that, we can use modern microbial experiments to calibrate what we then come to see in Earth's geologic record. Further, we use mathematical models to then serve as the bridge between the small and large scales and connect modern observations with environmental reconstructions of ancient environments. Thus in sum, we use equal parts geology, chemistry, and biology to write Earth's own special biography. For more information, please visit us online.